The TikTok creativity program beta is literally blowing up all over the internet. What if I told you that there are people making $9,000 a month just from posting simple Reddit story videos like this one? You see, the TikTok creativity program beta has an RPM of over $1, which means that you get paid $1 per 1,000 views. To put this in perspective, if your video gets 1 million views, TikTok would pay you $1,000. And as we all know, it's really not that hard to get a million views on TikTok, especially when you know what I'm about to teach you in this video. So I'm gonna show you my entire blueprint on how to start and grow your first TikTok account, no matter if you're a complete noob or not. But don't get too excited yet. The TikTok creativity program beta is only available in a few selected countries, like the US, UK, and Germany. I literally can't believe I'm sharing this with you since it's such a ridiculously easy way to make money, but I have this one friend who has found a way to create TikTok accounts eligible for the creativity program regardless of where you live. I don't want to talk about this too much, but just head over to this website, I've put it in the description, and get yourself a US TikTok account. As you can see, if I log into my account that I got and go to the settings, I have this option to apply for the TikTok creativity program beta, which actually would not be possible otherwise. I also have the TikTok shop tab, which is crazy. Also, to make sure you set up your account properly, take a look at the instructions on the website to avoid annoying issues like a shadow ban. As a little cherry on the top of the cake, this friend I mentioned has been kind enough to give all of my subscribers a 20% discount. So, if you want to save some money, make sure to use the code HOWTOAI20 when checking out. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the actual video creation. Unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you've probably seen that Reddit story videos are booming on TikTok, generating millions of views, meaning also thousands of dollars. But there's one problem. The niche is so saturated. Everyone, including your grandma, is making Reddit videos on TikTok today. Therefore, you gotta stand out from the crowd and do something different, which is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. For this, I've invited my very good friend, Horace the TikTok Wizard. Oh, hi Leo. What a pleasure to be back on your channel. We are doing improved Reddit stories today, aren't we? That's correct, Horace. How do you suggest we start off? To begin with, we need to create a script, and it can seem like a difficult task in the beginning. But don't worry, this step can be done with our favorite AI software, ChatGPT. I'm with you, Horace, but what's the prompt? Good question, Leo. When creating your story, you should aim for something controversial that will encourage people to engage with the video. Obviously, I can't do something too controversial here, so for this video, we will go with a creepy pasta story. So, head over to ChatGPT and enter this prompt. I trust you'll put it in the description for your viewers. Of course, I'll put it down there for easy access. Anyways, now take your script and head over to Eleven Labs to generate an AI voice. Once on the website, just head over to the voice library and look for a voice that matches your video. I'll go with Marcus for this video. Now go to the voice lab and paste in your script. I wouldn't recommend you to change the voice settings unless you know what you're doing. Lastly, press generate and download the file. Also, pro tip, make sure it's over one minute long. This is because your video has to be over 60 seconds to be eligible for the creativity program. If you're new to TikTok automation, all of this can be a bit confusing. I don't want to spend too much time talking about this too much, but me and my mentors are helping those of you who want to take this a bit more seriously and get a kickstart. We currently have over 100 members, tens of five-star reviews, and a lot of algorithm knowledge to share. So why not join it, right? Now, Horace, are you ready to take on the next step? The next part? is my personal favorite. It's time to find the background video. Since people nowadays have the attention span of a squirrel with ADHD, we need to find an engaging video. Something like Minecraft parkour or GTA drifting gameplay. I've heard kids like these things nowadays. Luckily for you watching this video, I've already done the heavy lifting for you. I've created a Google Drive folder with some of the most viral gameplay videos and trending sound effects that have been proven to make your videos go viral. I've linked it down below, so make sure to check it out. Another important part is the music, and since we're creating a creepypasta video, we need some scary music to set the mood. There are two ways you can go about this. Either you can go on YouTube and search for some non-copyrighted scary music, or you can just download the one I've uploaded in the Drive folder I've linked in the description. Now that we have all the content collected, we just need to put it all together. 
I prefer to use CapCut since it's 100% free and has all the tools needed. Do you remember in the beginning of the video when I told you we're going to make the videos a lot better than traditional Reddit story videos? Well, this is how we're going to do it. Instead of just adding our voiceover, gameplay, captions, and soundtrack, we're going to add photos and videos throughout the video to make it more engaging, but more on that later. To start off, we need to create a brand new project and choose the TikTok video format. Start off by uploading all your downloaded footage. Go to the media file on the left and drag your footage into the timeline one by one. Make sure to adjust the volume on all the clips so it sounds good. It should look something like this. Peace, quiet, nature all around. But let me tell you, the tranquility didn't last long. Now it's time to spice up the video by adding some image overlays throughout the video. In this case, we're creating a creepypasta story about some summer trip, and therefore, we need to generate an image of a cabin for the intro. So let's head over to leonardo.ai and describe the image you want in the prompt box. In the beginning of the script, we talk about a cabin in the woods, so we're going to write a prompt that looks something like this to generate a good image. Then, choose your favorite alternative and download your image. Now let's head back to CapCut and upload the images we just created. Start off by placing your images in the timeline and adjust them so they match the voiceover. In order to make the hook really good, place the first image and sound effect pretty much as soon as the video starts, as it will increase the chance of the viewer staying. Now, next up, let's add some animations. Click on the overlay and then on animations on the right and you can then animate the transition. As you can see, you have a ton of options, but for this video, I'll go with the combo animation, Distort Right. After you've generated a few different images that fit your video and inserted them with the transitions, you should have something like this. Summer, I rented this cozy little cabin out in the woods for a weekend getaway. Horace, do you want to walk them through the next step? Sure, Leo. Anything for you and your viewers. The next step is to add your captions. Of course, you can create them automatically in CapCut using AI. Simply click on captions to the left and then on auto captions. Great job, Horace. These captions are looking a bit boring though. So we're going to use the CapCut's caption presets to make the video even higher quality. Just click on presets and choose one that you think looks good. I'll go with this one. And when done, the new version should look something like this. Last summer, I rented this cozy little cabin out in the woods for a weekend. The video is starting to look pretty good, but we can make it even better by adding some sound effects. This will not only make your video more engaging, but it'll also make TikTok consider your video to be more original, which will make it easier to get your account monetized. I've added all the most viral sound effects to the same drive folder I mentioned before, so just get that once again over there. If you've followed all the steps so far, you've created your first TikTok automation video, and it should look something like this. Last summer, I rented this cozy little cabin out in the woods for a weekend getaway. Perfect spot, right? Peace, quiet, nature all around. But let me tell you, the tranquility didn't last long. Now, you just gotta upload the video to TikTok. The one thing you gotta have in mind is that TikTok requires consistency. So you gotta make sure to keep uploading regardless of how many views you get. Most people upload a few videos and then give up. So keep uploading and you'll get ahead of 99% of your competition just by being consistent. Let me know in the comments if you have any niche you want a tutorial on. And if you want to chat with me live, join my free Discord community. We have over 7,000 members now, so why not join it, right? It's literally free information. All right, see ya.